Hello and welcome to Infinity. Continuing our series on non-destructive dodge and burn. Here's a fairly generic way of doing this, but with a basic principle throughout. So the first thing you do is choose a way of darkening the picture. And there's lots of ways. You can use things like curves, you can use uh, exposure and so on. But let's just use just brightness and contrast because it's fairly primitive and it shows the idea. Um, just to keep things a little bit simpler, I'm going to put things above the picture there. So, But first of all, we just want to darken it. So whatever method you use, going to darken it. When you're using brightness and contrast, you can also add in contrast. What this is going to do, you can see it's, it's darkening things as well as I turn it up because it darkens the darks and lightens the light. But effectively on kind of like a different sort of dynamic to if you do use just brightness. But you can balance the, the two and the key is to say let's darken things as much as are going to darken it because we're going to lighten things back up again so get the darks as dark as they're going to be. All right, so let's say that. Okay. Um, we can always come back to this of course because it's non-destructive. And that'll do, I'll just call this one burn because that's what darkening is. Then what we're going to do, go back here, we're going to add another method. You could use another brightness con and contrast or more curves or whatever, but just to be different, show what you can do. We're going to put up a pixel layer and this is just to create lightning. Turn off the back top layer so we can just see this. And now we're going to, uh, let's f take the flood fill with white We'll fill it with white and then we want to find a blend mode here that's going to lighten it. So if we go down here make it a little bit lighter. There you go, overlay. Or soft light, eh, overlay I think. Um, it is rather bright there so we'll turn down the opacity until it gets to as light as we're going to want to make the lights light. So, yeah, that's about as bright as anything's. I'm going to make it, so we'll leave it there. Now we want to put a mask on this. So I just click the mask layer here. Just click that once, and a mask appears on that. If I open up this now, I want to invert the masks, which basically is going to hide those changes. So control I on that mask. And this one's the burn's got a built-in one, so I click control I on that. And now I can turn that back on again because it's gone back. We'll call this one dodge as well. Right. So what we want to do now is very simply paint on these two on the mask here and on this one here, which are the built-in mask. And we'll bring up those things. So if we want to darken something, I've made it black, so I want to make go white again to expose it. So paintbrush tool with white, whatever opacity I want there, that'll do. And moderately soft. So if I'm painting on here, that's going to darken it, because I'm painting on the burn here. So let's, let's do some where I want to darken things over here, maybe up here. Let's just darken that up a bit. Maybe put a bit of dark into the skies. Just contrast into the clouds. There we go. And I can go backwards and forwards here. So here's the lighten brush. So now I'll just lighten this area here. Maybe put some lightning around the top of that. And lighten a bit there and so on. And go back up here and maybe burn a bit there. Remember I'm painting all in white because I'm just exposing what's already there. Go down and shift click there to do that as a straight line and so on. So that's the basic technique. Choo and it, and it's, you simply choose the any method of darkening, any method of lightening, whatever one you like, they don't have to be the same, and put a mask on them invert the mask so it hides all that lighting and darkening and then paint white onto the mask to bring it back again. You can even hit shift click there to connect them both, hit control G 
to group them and then have an overall light dodge and burn control with the opacity here. So I can just go backwards and forwards here and change up and down the, that like an overall volume control. So there we go. That's that method again. That's another method. Uh, I know I've gone through quite a few and there may be more to come. But the key thing is, is dodging and burning is such a useful thing to do if you want to add texture and sculpt your picture. And it's worth having a set of tools at your fingertips. So thank you very much and thank you for watching.